It's been a while since I worked on this dude. In this session, I'm fitting the counterbalance brackets to the counterbalance arm. Before I took the assembly apart, I marked everything to make sure I could put it back together. I only had to deburr where the white horn parts were final drilled. Everything else is pre-drilled by Vance. Yeah, I know, this looks wrong, but it's necessary to Clico these guys 90 degrees from their final position. In order to drill the attach hole that holds the counterbalance arm in place, they will be turned vertically for the final riveting. I wanted to make sure that the angle of the arm would be lined up correctly with the spar box assembly. So I grabbed some spare wood and aluminum to put under the arm to make it easy to line stuff up with the drilling of the holes that hold the arm in place. I used a number 30 drill bit to drill the two holes into the counterbalance brackets and into the counterbalance arm. I final drill the holes with a number 12 drill bit. The placement of these bolts are only temporary to make sure that they fit. I marked everything with a sharpie to make sure it goes back together like it was when I drilled everything. Push down. First impression is, oh my god, I screwed up. But then, there it is. Not bad. All done. Looks half decent. Here I riveted the counterbalance brackets to the infinite spar box. I had to be really careful here to mark each hole where the pop rivets go. There are a lot of holes. Too many Sharpie marks? I don't think so. I want to make darn sure I put things back like they're supposed to go. Time to make the rib clips and attach them to the spar. These clips hold the rear ribs to the spar.
Hey, um, why stop now? It's time to take out the trash. Um, <laughs> <laughs>